Okay, some keys yeah, don't yeah, work. Yeah, some keys doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, let's try Megalovania. So after pretending to think about it for a while, I signed the contract. I know, but this is the last hammer video for a very long time, I promise. In my last video, I put actual hammers on a piano and then I hear pro pianists without telling them what I've done. The first pianist didn't really react, so I ended up hiring a second pianist for $1440, who had to drive 500 kilometers to get here. In case I didn't get a reaction this time, I asked her to prepare quite a lot of pieces so I would have a backup video like this one, more focused on the challenge of actually playing the piano. She didn't know about the hammers before she got here, so she practiced everything on a regular piano. And if you haven't seen my previous videos, let me show you why that might be a problem. This is me playing on a normal piano as good as I can. This is me playing on a hammer piano as good as I can. So why do I suck so much more the second time? When you press down a key on a piano, you are in a way lifting or launching the hammer towards the strings. And the original hammer on this piano only weighs 6 grams. If we compare this to one of the hammer heads I put on instead, it's 27 grams. I don't know exactly what it means more than it makes the piano much more difficult to play. So today we're going to find out if a pro pianist can handle the heaviest piano to play in the world. It could be. So I just got an email from the pianist and she said that she would be here in two hours. In the meantime, this video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. I eat a lot of carbs, so whenever I can, I try to compensate with some canned tuna or a protein shake just to feel good about myself again. The problem is that I cannot hate it. Magic Spoon tastes like regular cereal, but at the same time consists of, listen to this, 0 grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, only 4 net grams of carbs, and 140 calories per serving. It's literally, okay not literally, but almost like eating a chicken breast but it's cereal. On top of that, they are grain-free, gluten-free, and soy-free. So try Magic Spoon's best-selling flavors in a four-flavor variety pack featuring cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. Click the link below to try it yourself. And be sure to use the promo code MATTHIAS at checkout to get $5 off any order. Or go to magicspoon.com slash MATTHIAS. If you for any reason don't like them, Magic Spoon has a 100% money-back guarantee, no questions asked but I'm keeping them because they are good. Thank you Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. Let's try a, a little bit. Oh, oh. <laughs> so it's gonna sound like that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, some keys uh, don't yeah, work. Yeah, some keys doesn't work. I think it, it's three keys. Yeah, we have to deal with that part, but uh, I think it will be turned out. Okay. Great. So let's try Megalovania. Yeah. So I just uh, you might have uh, problems with playing that, but you can try. So we'll see. It might actually sound really cool here. Yeah, we'll, we'll I see. think so. We'll, see. well, there were some wrong notes, so I'll take it again. I'm not sure. <laughs> Take it slow first. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, let's give it a try. 
<laughs> Let's give it a try. Uh, the thing is, I learned it from the beginning because it it felt like easier to transform to this yeah. faster part. So if you don't mind playing it for me. Oh for no me. no. completely different on the piano. I mean, <laughs> there, there, there's no way you can play it better than that on that piano. Oh, maybe, no, but I don't he, know. Would, he would, I think, uh, the guy. Would I play it better? But I know, like, this stuff. It's just... It seems to be perfect. Yeah, it seems to be perfect for that clavichord, but... Something... I don't know why it doesn't work. This one. Oh, this yeah. is a bad guy. Yeah. It kind of sounds like oh, oh yeah, like yeah. I'm struggling. Well, I am a little bit, but it's like I can find a way to play uh, more percussively. <sighs> it just took all my energy. Sorry, I'll start from the beginning. But I think I'll, I'll find a way. It's just that I have to hammer really. That's the way. Yeah. I'll do that. Okay, I'll stop again. was good like that part yeah i think i realized that i should really use the you know the strength here can't make it sound if it doesn't sound. Tell me, it'll be like a hundred times already. <laughs> it doesn't help. That one was good. Yeah. 
Well, and the last one. Okay. Just kidding. Because you seem like generally happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm yeah. pretty empty inside. Oh, yeah, well, because my major was jazz in college, so we yeah. didn't really do that. So maybe that's kind of... Yeah, like... wasn't you a classical musician in Russia? Yeah, I was. I mean, I was trained to play classical music. But like, what do you want? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> like, what do you... <laughs> what do they want? <laughs> what do you want? Like, what... I, I, all I want, all I've ever wanted is just to play the piano. <laughs> Yeah. You know, that's why I came here. This, I mean, all my life is basically, this sounds boring, but it's just all my life is trying to get more piano jobs. Is it a big problem people asking if you want to get paid in exposure? In exposure? Like, yeah. Uh, that? I'm, I'm, I can't pay you, but a lot of people are going to see exactly. this. So it's I've a great this one ah. say yeah. this really. And he didn't want to pay, and his attitude was like, well, come on, why should I pay you? I really wish that I could have some time to just sit here and you know just figure out how to play and what to play because you said something that the songs were from the internet and they are big like viral songs yeah. they have a lot of views it's like I, I asked my followers like what would you like to see oh, okay. and they were like upvoting on the most popular songs okay. do you know some uh, piece that is meant to be played like super soft yeah yeah i do that would be fun to hear uh, well, but what what do you have more? What, what did they tell you more? Like which which kind of songs? Like would you know them? Yeah, I guess. They wrote "Flight of the Bumblebee." Yeah, no, that that's not. Moonlight Sonata. That was this one. Yeah. And pathetic second yeah, moon. Pathetic. I, what is I that? can't do that. No. Um, I'm just gonna be no, 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 <laughs> no. But you told me some something soft. Oh yeah, ragtime. Ragtime is entertainer, that's what it, it is. Entertainer is one of the ragtimes. Uh, it's by Scott Chaplin, it's like... Yeah, that sounded good. Yeah, I could if I if I get a, like a, a quarter, I could practice it a little bit. So we can record this one. Claire de Lune, yeah, the de, Debussy. I don't know it by heart, but I could play some parts uh, if I get the music. How do you get that? Uh, I don't have a printer. <laughs> do you have like an iPad or something? I'll just practice entertain now. So. Yeah. Should we record the entertainer first? Oh yeah. Yeah, and then we put yeah. this. Uh, are you rolling? Yep. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on! It's like, what?
So what else have we got? I'm surprised that there is now like uh, this one from Emily. Oh, take that one. If, if it's not viral, but I think that... No, just take, take something you want. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, now no, take the one you took. I just well, took I can play random. both, uh, I guess. <laughs> you sound excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you don't have any jazz, you know. The entertainer was the closest to jazz we could get. But you can play jazz. Yeah, well, like, I'm not sure if no, I No, like, like they, I'm like sure I read comments saying they want to hear some jazz. Yeah, but I don't know what they think it's jazz. Is that jazz? No, it's Bach. Oh, yeah. for you to see. That's because he wrote it on this thing, kind of this thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Wait, what thing did he wrote it on? He wrote it on clavichord, I think, or clavicine or, or whatever. Harpsichord, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Let's, let's Google it. Okay, so what so about this thing? Clavichord. Yeah. What does it look like? <laughs> it looked like a dollar store piano. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that that's the only thing they had back in the day. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, that was nice. Perfect. <laughs> You're finally happy with what you yeah, play. Yeah, finally I play what I want. And it's, it was called Misty. Oh. So. For the, uh, the difficult piano pieces, you usually go to the shiny pianist channel. You know this guy? The guy with the shiny fingers. What? <laughs> yeah, it's like the viral YouTube channel. Rousseau. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. But like he isn't everything. the keys that is shining, not his fingers. I don't, I, I don't know what, what is shining, everything is shining. I'm really, really excited about this. It sounded great. I mean, really great. I, uh, I was actually blown away, but not, not for the whole. Wait. I'm excited by the, the sound of some separate keys, because when you yeah. play it, when you kind of, when you play it together, it's it's like it get it gets lost a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I know but what what, what I would love to do is just to sit and try all the different keys just one one by one because they all sound kind of different like different instruments. Like this one sounds like a uh, instrument A, but this yeah. one sounds like an instrument B. Yeah. In the, and this is what I generally like about the piano. Yeah. Even if it's like a normal piano uh, sound. Uh, but, and here as well, you manage to like keep this thing about the, it being a live instrument. And, uh, but also it sounds like clavichord. Yeah. And fix this. <laughs> I should can, fix this. I, I had a piano technician here. Why we, isn't that working? <laughs> because uh, I can show you. It, it will all make sense. Because, yeah, really? wait, maybe I could actually fix it. Uh, is it well, are you kidding me? It's, I was uh, having such a what? hard time playing without this key working, and they're yeah. like, I can fix it. No, okay. Somebody did that, right? Yeah. You did that. Yeah. Obviously, you're not so lazy. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, sure. And I think the way would be to like start filing the hammer and stuff. And I don't think that would really work. And that moment is when I realized what the piano technician actually talked about when he said file down the hammers. Piano, okay. Okay, I'm just making excuses. I think it, I could do it. Whatever, I really yeah. missed this one. Yeah. <laughs> so after the pianist left, I decided to go and try to fix all of the keys on the piano. And I have to admit that in a weird way, I kind of hoped it wasn't going to work because if it worked, it meant I kind of ruined $2,000 worth of piano performances just because of, yeah, me. After only 20 minutes of work, I was done with the first key. And... It works. <laughs> it plays perfectly. Which I guess is great. But here's the good news. Only a few days after, I got an email from Andrew from a company called Impact Soundworks that wanted to turn the hammer piano into a virtual instrument. In theory, that means that you can turn your digital piano into an almost identical version of the hammer piano without the downsides of the hammers. So after pretending to think about it for a while, I signed a contract. It made me realize that this meme kind of transcended into something real. Do you have 90 of them? 90? Yeah, I have a lot of nails. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I spent over $5,000 and put in well over 600 hours into building, editing, researching and making videos about this piano. So I'm happy to say that this one actually turned out to be more than a joke. And this will get sold to like professional producers and composers. I mean, uh, and you can buy two, of course. But since I'm the idiot who's doing the recording, Impact talked me through step by step how I would do it. And it was like, Matthias put one mic here, one mic here, one mic here, one mic here. And I was like, that's impossible because I can only plug in two mics in this one. So I spent $440 on a new audio interface, 
but I still only had two mics and I needed some really good ones and that would cost me a lot. And that's where a microphone company stepped in to help me, Lewitt. I told them about the situation and they agreed to send over two LCT 640TS mics. And those will cost me over $2,000 in total, but they send them for free. So from now on, I will only buy Lewitt mics for the rest of my life. Once I got some help from Impact and Discord with the setup, I was ready to start the recording. All I had to do was to record the individual keys one by one, which turned out to be a lot harder than I expected because they wanted me to record every key on the piano at least two times in six different hardnesses or dynamics. That means I had to play a note in a perfect way, wait 25 seconds or until it stopped ringing for a total of 1056 times. And that didn't sound too bad. The problem is that playing very soft on a piano with hammers was a skill by itself. I did a test run and for most keys I ended up needing 10 tries in order to get one accurate enough note. That means I need to repeat this up to 10,000 times in complete silence along with my own thoughts. I realized eventually that this wasn't going to work, so I decided to do almost the entire recording at night when my neighbors was asleep, and somehow they agreed to that. And the next morning, I was finally done. I had a continuous recording that was over 12 hours long. Yeah. And this is where I decided to listen to the recording before I sent it over. But you know what I heard? A really really quiet but very annoying buzz on almost every key. And after checking the piano I realized that this part was loose and created a sound from vibrating against the piano. I knew that I could just send the recording and I'm sure no one else would really notice but I would and I already worked so much on this piano so knowing myself I knew I had to redo the entire recording again. And I have to be honest recording this piano was an absolute nightmare to do but 12 hours later the recording was kind of perfect. I finished up by recording some extra sounds that needed for editing like... I'm not going to question it. <laughs> So yeah, I sent files over and I feel like this was a happy ending to the hammer piano. 